All right, now we're gonna start our pre-trip inspection. We're gonna start with the tractor, our airline. Our airlines are properly mounted, properly secured. They're not crack bent or broken. There's no bulges and there's no signs of any leaking. My electrical line, properly mounted, properly secured. There's no cuts or frays and they're not dragging on my catwalk. My mounting bolts. My mounting bolts are right here. They're properly mounted, properly secured. They're not crack bent or broken and there's no loose or missing bolts. My platform, my platform's right there. It's properly mounted, properly secured. It's not crack bent or broken and there's no signs of any illegal welds. My locking jaw. My locking jaw is in there. It's around my kingpin. It's properly mounted, properly secured. This does not have a lever. My release arm. My release arm is up here. Properly mounted, properly secured. It's not cracked, bent, or broken, and it's in the locked position. This does not have a safety latch. My fifth wheel skid plate. My fifth wheel skid plate's right here. It's properly mounted, properly secured. It's not cracked, bent, or broken, and there, it's properly greased. Fifth wheel slide pins. My slide fifth wheel pins are right here. They're in the locked position, they're properly mounted, properly secured, and they're not cracked, bent, or broken. My semi-trailer. My semi-trailer's right here. My air lines are right here. They're properly mounted, properly secured. They're not cracked, bent, or broken, and there's no signs of any leaks. My electrical line. My electrical line's right here. It's properly mounted, properly secured, and there's no signs of any cuts or frays, and it's not dragging on my catwalk. My kingpin, I looked at my kingpin before, it's inside my fifth wheel, and it's not properly, it's properly mounted, properly secured, and it's not cracked, bent, or broken. My apron, my apron's right here, it's properly mounted, properly secured, it's not cracked, bent, or broken, and there's no signs of any rust or damage to my apron. My gap, there's no gap between the fifth wheel and my apron, let me know that it's properly mounted. Now I'm going to go to the front of the vehicle. First, I'm going to turn on my light. Front of my vehicle. When I do to this side, I will do to this side. My lights starting at the top. My uh, front windshield lights are amber in color and they're properly mounted and they're working condition. My lights here, I've got my bezel is clear with no obstructions and no fading. And my lights are white in color. My high beams, my low beams, my turn signal is amber in color and working condition. And so is my marker light. Mirrors. My mirror is properly mounted, properly secured. It's not cracked, bent, or broken. And my glass is properly mounted, properly secured, not cracked, bent, or broken. I'm going to open my hood. My oil level, my oil dipstick's right here. I would pull it out, wipe it off, put it back in, pull it out, and it should be between the add and the fill line. And if I was gonna add oil, I would add it right here. My coolant level. My coolant reservoir's right here. It's properly mounted, properly secured. It's not cracked, bent, or broken, and there's no signs of any leaks. And it's in between the minimum and the maximum level. And if I was to add coolant, it would be right here. And you can see I'm marking off every time I do something. My power steering fluid. 
The power steering fluid reservoir is right here. It's properly mounted, properly secured. There's no leaks. There's no ho uh, there's no uh, bulging on my hoses. And if I was to fill it, it would be right here. And it should be between the minimum and the uh, max. My water pump. My water pump is right here. Properly mounted, properly secured. It's not cracked, bent, or broken. And my hoses, there's no signs of any leaks or bulges on it. It's belt driven. There should be no cuts or frays on my belt and I should have no more than three quarter inch of play on my belt. My alternator, my alternator's right here. It's properly mounted, properly secured. It's not cracked, bent, or broken. And my electrical lines are properly mounted and properly secured and there's no cuts or frays on my electrical lines. It's also belt driven and I should have no more th than three quarter inches of play on my belt and there should be no cuts or frays. Leaks and hoses. I would do a visual on my tractor and look on the ground to make sure there's no any no leaks under the vehicle. My air compressor. My air compressor is right here. It's properly mounted, properly secured. There's no signs of any audible leaks coming from my air hose, and there's no oil leaks on my air compressor. I do not have a master cylinder master cylinder on this vehicle because it is has air brakes. Automatic transmission. I cannot my automatic transmission's back here and I cannot look at it because it's a sealed transmission. Steering box and hoses. Here's my steering box. It's properly mounted, properly secured. It's not cracked, bent or broken and there's no loose or missing bolts on it. My hoses are right here. They're properly mounted, properly secured. There's no signs of any leaks and there's no bulges or any fluid leaking. Steering linkage. My steering linkage is right here. It's properly mounted, properly secured. It's not cracked, bent or broken. And my U-bolt, my U-joints are right here and they're properly greased. If I turn it, I should have no more than 10 degrees of play on this steering linkage. My pitman arm, my pitman arm's right here. It's properly mounted, properly secured. It's not cracked, bent, or broken. And it's no loose or missing bolts. And it's held together with a castle nut and a carter pin right here. My drag link, my drag link's right here. It's connected to my steering knuckle and my pitman arm. It's properly mounted, properly secured. It's not cracked, bent, or broken. And they're held together with a castle nut and a carter pin right here. My tires. This is my tire. There's, it's properly mounted, properly secured to my rim. There's no cuts, no bulges on the inside. It's evenly worn on the top, and there's no more, no less than four thirty seconds of tread depth on it. And if I was to check the air pressure right here on my metal valve stem and metal cap, this is where I would check it and add air if needed. And it should be no less than hundred psi to this side, the front side of the tire. There's no cuts, there's no bulges, and it's properly mounted and properly secured to my rim. On the inside of my rim, it's right here. It's properly mounted, properly secured to my tire. There's no, uh, it's not cracked, bent, or broken, and there's no illegal welds. The outside of my rim is right here. It's properly mounted, properly secured to my tire. It's not cracked, bent, or broken and there's no illegal welds. Lug nuts. My lug nuts are right here. They're properly mounted, properly secured, and there's no loose or missing nuts. And I can see by shiny metal or rust streaks. Hub oil. My hub oil seal's right here. It's properly mounted, properly secured. There's no loose or missing bolts, and there's no sign of any leaking. And if I was to need to fill it, I would take this plug out and fill it right there. Springs and shocks. Here's my spring and here's my shock. Properly mounted, properly secured. It's not cracked, bent, or broken. And my shock is properly mounted, properly secured. Not cracked, bent, or broken. And there's no signs of any leaks. And my bushings on my shocks are in good condition. 
U-bolts. There's no cracked or missing U-bolts and they're properly mounted and properly secured. Spring mounts. My forward spring mount and my rear spring mount are right there. They're properly mounted, properly secure, and the bushings inside are in proper and good condition. Front brakes, uh, the brake hoses. My brake hoses are right here. It's properly mounted, properly secured. They're not cracked. There's no bulges and there's no signs of any leaks. My brake chamber, my brake chamber's right here. It's properly mounted, properly secured, and it's held together with a C-clamp and there's no signs of any leaks on it. This vehicle has rotors and discs, so it has no slack adjusters or push rods or brake drums or linings, but my Brake pad shoes should have no less than a quarter inch of lining on it. Now we're gonna go to the driver, driver door. My driver door opens and closes properly. The hinges are properly mounted, properly secured, and my weather stripping is in good condition and properly mounted. My mirror, my mirror is right here properly mounted properly secured there's no obstructions on my glass there's no all my glass is clear and it's not cracked and my mount is good my fuel tank and my cap my fuel tanks back here it's properly mounted properly secured it's not cracked bent or broken and the straps are properly mounted properly secured not cracked bent or broken my fuel cap is right here. It's properly mounted, properly secured, not cracked, bent, or broken. And if I was to take it off, there'd be a rubber seal in it and a safety chain. My catwalking steps. My catwalk's right here. It's properly mounted, properly secured, not cracked, bent, or broken. And it's free of any debris or obstructions on it. The same thing with my step that goes to my catwalk. It's properly mounted, properly secured, it's not cracked, bent, or broken, and it's free of any debris or obstructions on my uh, steps. My door steps are right here. They're properly mounted, properly secured, not cracked, bent, or broken, and there's no, and they're free of debris going up to the door. My battery box is right here. It's properly mounted, properly secured. It's not cracked, bent, or broken, and there's no cuts or frays on the electrical lines, and they're all mounted correctly. Lights and reflectors. We have one light over here. It's a marker and a turn signal. It's amber in color and it works properly. Drive shaft. My drive shaft is right here. It's properly mounted, properly secured. It's not cracked, bent, or broken. And it's free of any debris on it. And my U-bolt, my U-joints are properly greased and properly mounted and properly secured. Exhaust system. The exhaust systems on the bottom on the other side Properly mounted properly secured and the u-bolts are properly mounted and properly secured and there's no signs of any leaks My frame my frame is right here Properly mounted properly secured. It's not cracked bent or broken and there's no loose or missing bolts and my Cross members right here. It's properly mounted properly secured and there's no crack, bent, or broken, and there's no loose or missing bolts on it. My rear axle. What I do to this side, I will do to that side. What I do to this axle, I will do to this axle. And what I do to this tire, I will do to all tires. My tires on the inside, they're properly mounted, properly secured to my rim. There's no cuts or bulges. And along the top, it's evenly worn. And there should be no less than two 30 seconds of tread depth on it. And I should be at least 100 PSI. And I would check that with my metal valve stem, with my metal cap. Right here, I would check it and add air if needed. And then right here, there's no cuts or bulges. And there's, it's properly secured to my rim. My rim on the inside. Properly mounted, properly secured to my tire not cracked, bent, or broken, and there's no illegal welds. On the front side of my rim, 
properly mounted, properly secured to my tire. It's not cracked, bent, or broken, and there's no signs of illegal welds. My lug nuts, my lug nuts are right here. They're properly mounted, properly secured. There's no loose or missing nuts, and I would know with a, a shiny metal or rust streaks. My hub oil seal or my axle seal right here. It's properly mounted, properly secured. It's not cracked, bent, or broken. There's no signs of any leaks, and there's no loose or missing nuts. Spacers or butt spacing. This tire does not have, this rims do not have butt uh, spacers. It has butt spacing. There's no debris inside it, and there's no gap in between my rims. And there's no debris in between my rims and my tires. My spring shocks and airbags. My springs are down here, properly mounted, properly secured. They're not cracked, bent, or broken. And there's no scissoring or broke or, loose or missing springs. My shocks are right there. Properly mounted, properly secured. They're not cracked, bent, or broken. And the top and bottom bushings are properly mounted and properly secured and in good condition. And there's no signs of any leaks on my shock. My airbag is right behind it. Properly mounted, properly secured. There's no bulges and there's no signs of any leaks on my airbag. And the upper and lower mounts are in proper condition. The U-bolts are right here. They're properly mounted, properly secured. They're not cracked, they're not broken, and there's none missing. The spring and air mounts, my spring mounts are right here. They're properly mounted, properly secured. They're not cracked, bent, or broken, and there's no loose or missing bolts. And the same thing with my upper and lower airbag mounts. They're properly mounted, properly secured, with no loose or missing bolts. My brake hose and lines. My brake hoses are right here. They're properly mounted, properly secured. They're not cracked, bent, or broken. And there's no signs of any bulges or any leaks. My brake chamber is right here. Properly mounted, properly secured. It's not cracked, bent, or broken. It's held together with a C-clamp and there's no signs of any leaks. These vehicles, this vehicle does not have slack adjusters or push rods or drums or linings. They have rotors and discs. And my uh, brake pad should have no less than a quarter inch of pad on it. The rear of the vehicle. The rear of the vehicle. There's no doors or lifts on the side on the rear of my vehicle. Splash guards. My splash guards are right here. They're properly mounted, properly secured. They're not cracked, bent, or broken, and they're no higher than nine inches off the ground, and they must cover the width of the tires. My lights and reflectors. My rear lights are red in color, and my reverse light is white in color, and my reflector tape is on both of my splash guard mounts. The back of my cab, I got two service lights right here, they're white in color, and I have my reflective tape that's at the top. They're both white in color. My trailer front. This is my trailer front. It's properly mounted, properly secured. There's no uh, holes, or there's no damage to the dunk, and all my rivets are inside. I do not have lights on the front of this trailer. Side of the trailer. My landing gear. This is my landing gear, my frame, properly mounted, properly secured. It's not cracked, bent, or broken, and it's in the raised position. My handle is properly mounted, properly secured, and stowed away, and there's no loose or missing bolts. My foot is properly mounted, properly secured. It's not cracked, bent, or broken, and it's attached to my landing gear. My frame and tandem release. Starting with my apron along to my cross members. I'm looking to make sure there's no damage under my trailer as I go to the rear.
my tandem release is right here. It's in the lock position, and so are my pins. They're both in the lock position. My frame is properly mounted, properly secured, and free of any uh, illegal welds. Doors, ties, and lifts. On the side of my trailer, there's no doors, there's no lifts, and there's no ties. Lights and reflectors starting from the top. In the front corner, I have my clearance light, which is in proper working condition, and it's amber in color. Then I go down to my reflective tape. I got DOT reflective tape that covers 50% evenly spaced along the side of my trailer. And then I have my red marker light in the very back with my ABS light, which is amber in color. Here I have my turn signal and my marker light, which is amber in color and in working condition. Wheels and tires. What I do to this side, I will do to that side. What I do to this axle, I will do to this axle. And what I do to this tire, I will do to all tires. On the inside, it's properly mounted, properly secured to my tire or my rim and there's no cuts or no bulges. Across the top, it's evenly worn and there should be no less than two 30 seconds tread depth on this tire and at least 100 PSI. And I would check it and add air right here with my metal valve stem with my metal cap. Across here, it's there's no cuts and there's no bulges and it's e uh, properly mounted and properly secured to my rim. My rim on the inside, it's properly mounted, properly secured. It's not cracked, bent, or broken, and there's no signs of any illegal welds. On the outside, properly mounted, properly secured to my tire, and there's no, it's not cracked, bent, or broken, or any illegal welds. My lug nuts. My lug nuts are right here. They're properly mounted, properly secured. There's no loose or missing nuts, and there's I could tell because there's no shiny metal or any rust streaks. My hub or my axle seal is right here. It's properly mounted, properly secured. It's not cracked, bent, or broken. There's no signs of any leaks, no uh, loose or missing bolts. And if I was to fill it, I would fill it right here. Spacers or butt spacing. This does not have spacers. This has butt spacing. There's no debris inside this area. And between my rims, there's no gap and there's no rust inside it. Spring shocks and airbags. If I look right here, my springs, my trailer does not have any shocks or airbags. My uh, springs are not scissoring, they're not cracked, they're not broken, and none are missing. My U-bolts, my U-bolts are properly mounted, properly secured, they're not cracked or broken, and there's no missing U-bolts. My uh, spring mounts, this tra trailer does not have air mounts, but the spring mounts are properly mounted, properly secured, they're not cracked, bent, or broken, and there's no loose or missing bolts. My trailer brake hoses. My hoses are properly mounted, properly secured. There's no bulging and there's no signs of any leaks. This, my brake chamber, my brake chamber is right there. It's properly mounted, properly secured. It's not cracked, bent or broken. And it's held together with the C-clamp and there's no signs of any leaking. My slack adjuster and push rod. My slack adjuster is properly mounted, properly secured. It's not cracked, bent, or broken. And my push rod is properly mounted, and properly secured, not cracked, bent, or broken. If I was to check this, I would release my brakes, chalk my wheels if necessary, and pull on it, and I should have no more than one inch play on my slack adjuster. Drum and linings. This vehicle does not, this trailer does not have rotors or discs. It has drums and linings. My drums are properly mounted, properly secured, not cracked, bent, or broken, and there's no signs of any grease inside my drum showing a leaking wheel seal. My linings on my brake pads, on my brake shoes, should have no less than a quarter inch of lining, and they're properly mounted and properly secured. 
my rear of trailer. This is the rear of my trailer. I have no lifts, but I do have a door. If I was to lift up my door, I would unlock it, lift this up, pull this around, lift it up and make sure it works properly. And my weather strip is properly mounted and properly secured. My splash guards are right here. They're properly mounted, properly secured. I'm not cracked, bent, or broken. They're no higher than nine inches off the ground and they should cover the width of the tire. Lights and reflectors. We're gonna start from the top and go to the bottom. My clearance light at the top and the rear of my vehicle are red. They're work properly working. And my hazard lights and my turn signals are also red and my brake lights are red and properly working. My reflective tape should cover 100% of the door, uh, DOT reflective tape, and my Mansfield bar, 100% DOT reflective tape. Now we'll go to the cab and do the end cab. All right, now we're gonna do our end cab. Check your seat belt to make sure there's no cuts or frays, and I'm gonna check my seat belt to make sure there's no cuts or frays in it, and it latches properly. And it does. I'm gonna check my emergency equipment. Make sure I have three reflective triangles back here. My fire extinguisher is properly charged. And I have my spare fuses right up here. I'm going to do a safe start on the engine. I'm going to make sure these are out. Make sure my vehicle's in neutral. And then start my engine. I'm going to check my temperature gauge. Temperature gauge is right here. It's in proper working condition it's cold outside so it's not reading uh, at its height right now my oil pressure gauge my oil pressure gauge right here it's reading the proper PSI so it's in working condition and my bolt gauge says it's at 14 volts so that's proper my air gauges are at 120 to 130 PSI and my primary and second gauge or are, are, air tanks are reading at that my light indicators. I'm gonna turn off my hazards. Do my my high beams work? My low beams work? My left turn signal? My right turn signal? My hazard? And my ABS light came on and turned off after I turned on the vehicle. My horn, my city horn, my air horn, both work properly. My heater, check my heater. It works, and my defroster, it works. My windshield and mirrors, my windshield is free of any obstructions or cracks, and my mirrors are adjusted to my liking. And the, wind, uh, the glass in it is not broke. My wipers and washer. My wipers work properly and my windshield washer fluid works properly. Now I'm going to perform my air brake test. 
to do that, I'm gonna turn off my vehicle, put it in the run position, push in on my valves, and I'm gonna apply my foot to the service brake and I should lose no more than four PSI in one minute. Now I will do that. Turn it off, run position, push in, push in, and hold my brake, and I should lose no more than four PSI in one minute. All right, one minute has passed. Now I'm gonna do my low air warning test. To do that, I'm gonna fan my brake down to 60 PSI, and then my red light should come on, and then after I turn my vehicle on, I should hear my buzzer. Now I'll do that. My lights came on, so my low air warning test is good. Now I'm gonna do my protection valve test. To do that, I'm gonna fan it down to 40 to 20 PSI and both of those uh, buttons should pop out at the same time. Now I'm gonna do that. Now my protection valve test is good. Now I'm gonna do a safe start to do my emergency tug test. I'm gonna make sure my valves are out, my vehicle's in neutral, and I'm gonna start my vehicle up. So it says my low air, my vehicle will not shift, So, but I'm gonna go ahead and put it in drive and try to, try to go forward. Works properly. Now I'm gonna put my vehicle back in neutral and I'm gonna do my governor cutout test. By doing that, I'm gonna put my vehicle 1200 RPMs and then my I should hear my air release at 120 to 130 PSI. was my governor cut out. Now I'm gonna perform my air brake or my parking brake test. To do that, I'm gonna check my parking brake and my trailer brakes. To check my parking brake, I'm gonna push in on my trailer. I'm gonna put my vehicle in drive. And then I'm gonna try to move forward. 
This vehicle does not allow me to do it with my parking brake out. So now I'm gonna check my trailer brakes. To do that, I'm gonna push in on my tractor brake, pull out on my trailer, and I'm gonna tug on my trailer. My trailer, my trailer brakes work properly. And this also lets me know that my kingpin is properly secured inside my fifth wheel. Now I'm gonna do my service brake test. To do that, I'm gonna push in on my tractor, my trailer, and I'm gonna drive five miles an hour forward, and I'm gonna apply my brakes, and I should have no leaning to the left or right. Now I'm gonna do that. That's in, that's in. My vehicle's still in drive. And now, after my trailer brakes fully release, I will move forward. Had no leaning to the left or to the right. This lets me know that my brakes are adjusted properly. I'm gonna put my vehicle in neutral, pull out on my brakes. I'm gonna go over my sheet to make sure I mentioned everything. And this concludes our pre-trip inspection.